Hey, buddy. Hey. Do you know where we're at? Yeah. Where are we at? The mower shop. The mower shop. Because what are we going to do here? Get you a mower. Get me a mower. Yep, that's right. Yeah. Are you excited about that? Yeah. Really? I wonder what color it's going to look like. Maybe I could pick it. It's going to be so cool. Well, you know, your dad likes a particular color. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you tuning in. And as you can tell from my intro, you know that I have purchased a new mower this year. Uh, last year I planned on uh, purchasing new equipment and I didn't. That should give you a little bit of a clue on what I bought this year. However, after you see a little bit of footage, you might be surprised what I actually bought. So here's a little bit of footage, but I won't keep you in suspense too long. Just stay tuned in, stay watching, okay? I'll see you after the footage.
and now you know. And now you know, right? Let me tell you, <clears throat> you may be surprised if you uh, don't watch my channel that much uh, because most people are looking for the big mowers, right? Uh, but if you do watch my channel, then you know that I've been looking to replace my 21. Uh, my HRX 217, uh, I hit a water meter with it last year and it just hasn't been right since. I've had it for about uh, four seasons, I think, and so it's kind of run its course anyway, so I need to replace my 21. I was going to replace it with a recycler, but lo and behold, I replaced it with the commercial 21 from Xmark. <clears throat> so you might say, Matt, why, why would you drop that kind of coin on a, on a small mower like that? Well, let me tell you something. The 21 does not get enough credit, man. Because uh, everybody wants the bigger mowers, everybody's trying to maximize their time, and there's definitely some validity to that. But then there's also some times where you really wish you had a 21. Depending on how you're set up with your properties, and I'm one of those companies where a 21 is actually a critical part of my operation. And you're right, I kind of downplayed a little bit, and I was just going to get a recycler, just a normal recycler. I was going to minimize costs there. But last year, I borrowed a Toro Commercial 21 from my buddy over uh, in Waymaker Lawn Care, formerly known as Rob's Odd Jobs, Mr. Rob, and because uh, I was having cut quality issues. So I said, hey, man, let me borrow your mower uh, and see if this corrects my problem. Well, let me tell you guys, be careful about borrowing a commercial mower if you're used to residential because it might happen to you too. I was sold. There's unmatched difference between a commercial mower and a residential mower. I'm not saying that you should get commercial. All I'm saying is once you go commercial, it's kind of tough to go back. And all the mowers will do the job. Okay. I haven't had a single mower in any of my setups that didn't do what I needed it to do. Okay. But uh, I was sold. As soon as I borrowed that commercial 21, I was sold. So I ended up with the X mark because my dealer, <clears throat> all they had was the, uh, it, with a break, with a, a blade clutch was the X mark. Uh, for Apparently that's not a desirable function within a mower, but that was very, very important to me. And uh, so that's what I got. I'd love to do a, a review on this mower after I get a couple few hours on it. I've only got less than two hours on it right now. So I'd like to get a few hours on it and then I'll do a review on it for you guys. But yeah, that's what I got guys. And let me tell you a quick story, all right? Because I, told, I already told you that, that the, the blade clutch was an important feature for me. So I called my dealer and I said, hey, what do you got on the floor? Uh, I'd like to come pick it up. And he said, yeah, I got one in an X mark. I said, okay, I'm coming up to get that. So I went uh, to get up there and get there and it wasn't there. Can you imagine the disappointment? I mean, you're all pumped up. You're ready you know, to take that mower home and it's just not there like you thought it was going to be. I even had uh, Ben from Acme. I didn't even know this at the time, but... But Ben wanted to, wanted to see my reaction with my new mower because he knew, he already knew what I was going for. But uh, 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 he wanted to catch my reaction and the mower wasn't there. So Ben, just for you, buddy, man, let me tell you, I was ecstatic. I was ecstatic to get this mower. So excited. And I could, just couldn't wait to get out there and use it. So I'm sorry we missed that whole footage, but... But I appreciate the thought, man, and I appreciate you even coming out anyway that day to come and share that time with me. It's always good to see you. But uh, you would think, man, what a crappy dealer, right? No. this I'm not bringing this up to discredit my dealer. I'm bringing this up to bring credit to my dealer. And here's a reason why you don't want to buy from Home Depot or Lowe's, okay? You think you're getting a great deal, but the reality is the prices are pretty close anyway. Except when you go to a dealer, they tend to give more discounts if you're a business. Okay, so that's one reason to go to your dealer. I got mine on the open house sale. So I got this mower for about $1,100. It's about $1,300. So I got a couple hundred dollars off on this thing. The second thing is, is nobody's perfect. Neither is my dealer. But there are dealers that are better than others. I believe I have the best dealer in the city. Not that there are not other good dealers. I also use Allen's Power Equipment, and they have treated me very well in the past. I have a Gravely, okay? Lynx uh, Lawn Equipment, they, they, they serve Toro and Xmark. They just don't have Gravely, so uh, they're at a disadvantage when it comes to my, my Gravely. So I go to Allen's Power Equipment. I just picked up a starter over there. They were super nice, super friendly. They, they got me exactly what I needed, 
and I was in good shape. So kudos to Allen's power equipment. But this story is actually more about Lynx, okay? Lynx, he didn't have it. He felt horrible. So you know what he did? He wanted me to have that mower that day. He didn't say, okay, well, let me get it on order, come back in a week or two, whatever. That's not what he said. What he said was, let me call around the city. Let me see if I can find you one, and I will deliver it to you. Can you beat that? Try. Good luck getting a Home Depot rep to do that. Good luck getting a Lowe's rep to do that. At best, they would say, I'll ship it to the store and you can come to the store and get it. Okay? But most most of the time, if you if you got the same experience, I, they'll, 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 they might look around the city and be like, you can go over there and get it. My dealer drove 45 minutes one way, meaning an hour and a half, in an F-250. I don't know how much it cost him to put gas in that thing. I know gas is cheap right now, but it's still a cost. But he drove 45 minutes one way to go get this mower, and he dropped it off at my house. And I actually had an interview, but I lost the footage. I'm so sorry about that, Brian. But we had a great conversation. <clears throat> he was kind of displaying the features with me, and we were just kind of talking about the very same thing. But thank you so much, Brian, from Lynx Lawn Equipment for taking care of me. I don't expect you to be perfect, and nobody should expect you to be perfect. But you made it right, uh, and uh, and I really appreciate you. I appreciate uh, everything that you do to support my business. So anyways, off of that, really consider uh, buying from a dealer, getting a relationship because it's out of relationship that you're going to get the best customer service. So anyways, guys, uh, yeah, there's my new mower. I plan on doing a setup video. Uh, and when I do my oil change on this, because it's coming up, I got to do it between five and 10 hours. What I'm going to do is, is you, if you have a mighty vac or if you're considering buying a mighty vac, to suck oil out for oil changes, you might want to watch the video where I change the oil on this thing because I don't have a mighty vac. I have a very, very cheap method of sucking oil out and about that involves my shop vac, and you're going to want to look at it before you purchase anything. So, uh, without further ado, the last thing we have is a community cabinet. I've got a ton of stuff to put up on the community cabinet. I'm excited to show you where I got mail. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, check it out. Alrighty guys, so here is the community cabinet. I got uh, one, two, well, kind of like two and a half because I've already got one of these up on my cabinet. Uh, three, four, five. I got five different things in the mail today. So I'm going to start with the Dallas meetup. Uh, my last video, you guys already know that I got a sticker <coughs> from the infamous Dougie Fresh or Dougie Doug. So anyways, Dougie Doug, man, I've been looking for this, uh, for this sticker and you know what, my man? Looks like Eclipse is going to get two different entries in the giveaway. Uh, so Dougie Doug, here you go, my man. I'm going to put you up right here. I'm trying to make space. Dougie Doug on the community cabinet. Oh, nice. That was crazy. You totally just fell off. That's what happens when you don't have an awesome studio like some of those guys out there. You gotta like rig your camera up and it's just like... <laughs> anyways guys, sorry about that. Let's continue, okay? So, anyways, along with Dougie Doug, I got me another Eclipse Lawn Care sticker. Brother, I think I'm gonna keep this one and put it in glass. I'm gonna preserve it forever. Thanks for the extra, man. And <clears throat> after that one, <clears throat> you got Victor Soto. The Mo Ranger. This one's a little difficult because of the way it's the way it is. Okay, so I'm gonna put it up here as close as I can. He is in the Dallas area. I say the Dallas area. I think he's a little bit further north. Uh, but uh, the Mo Ranger. He's got an Instagram account, so I'm gonna link that in the description. Go check that out. Okay, great dude. Uh, great part-time gig going on, and he's really. He's really pressing forward with social media. So go support him over at his Instagram. And let me see if I can get you up here on on my cabinet, community cabinet. The Mo Ranger. The Mo Ranger. Got to kind of press it on there because it's one of those kind. All right, see what happens. Actually even looks like you Victor it says at your service so anyways thank you Victor thank you so much for the sticker brother I really appreciate it and it was great to uh, connect with you again I'm looking forward to it again in the future that Dallas burrito meetup was a whole lot of fun guys and uh, I hope you enjoyed those videos all right the next one we have here is from Tony Rudolph does that sound familiar to you guys 
He's from uh, Buckhead, Georgia. It's another clue. When you see the sticker, you'll know who I'm talking about. Anybody know this guy? Of course you do. Of course you go. You. Go check out his YouTube if you haven't already. If you're watching me, you're probably watching him. Uh, but he, we're doing a sticker swap, and uh, I really appreciate the sticker, Tony. Appreciate your support, uh, and uh, and I appreciate the content you're putting on your channel. Always enjoy it. Says, bro, thanks for the sticker swap. Our second baby is due end of July. Love. Uh, <clears throat> Lord willing, if that goes smooth, I'm planning to go to GIE 2020. You should go. It's tax write-off. You won't regret. Yes, Tony, I'm aware that's a tax write-off. And last year I intended on going and just things didn't work out right. But this year, <clears throat> excuse me, trust me, it's not coronavirus. I don't want to hear another thing about coronavirus. Let me tell you. I'm planning on going this year and uh, I'm actually going to be staying with Acme Mowing uh, with the Lawn Stars, uh, Rob from uh, Waymaker Lawn Service and whoever else happens to end up there. So I'm really looking forward to GIE this year and looking forward to connecting with everybody face to face, especially you, my man. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the sticker. Let's get you up there, okay? All right, Mr. Tony. Uh, I think I'm going to put you under Dougie Fresh, okay? Again, Tony's uh, link to his YouTube channel is going to be in the description, so go check him out. All right, here's here's a cool one. This one is is uh, from Ranger. You guys know who Ranger is from Lone Stars? Yeah, buddy. Been looking forward to this one. Thank you so much uh, for these stickers. And you know, he didn't send me just one sticker. He sent me like five. <laughs> this one is from his uh, uh, handyman business. Okay, that one's pretty awesome. And uh, I think this is the one that's actually going to go up there, my man, okay? I don't know. Because you also sent me one for the Lawn Stars. A transparent one. A transparent for Handy Stars. Got a regular one for Lawn Stars. And a regular one for Handy Stars. Dude, I don't even know which sticker to put up, man. I don't even know which one to put up. So, I might just have to put them all up. I might just have to put them all up. But that's going to take some time. So I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to go with uh, the homeowner's handyman first. Okay. Right underneath owner. Ulnar. Okay. You know what? The transparent one. I'm going to do something else with that one. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put the regular one up. Okay, so uh, Lawn Stars. Th thank you, by the way, for representing all of Lawn Stars. That one's transparent, too. All of Lawn Stars. Um, I get great support from you guys. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Nice. Nice, because I don't know if you guys know, there's like certain people in the community and they just seem like everywhere you go to every channel that they're there. And Handy Stars, Lawn Stars, that's one of those uh, folks that are doing those sorts of things. And uh, you know, I got a busy life, right? I'm working full time, uh, I'm doing these, this YouTube gig. Uh, I, you know, I got my family, I got young kids, we got all kinds of things going on you know, bedtimes, cooking dinner, washing the dishes. I know we all have that type of stuff, but it's really special, those folks out there that are actually going to as many channels as they can, supporting them, liking them, sharing them, and subscribing to them. And and I just really appreciate that. And uh, Ranger, my man, Lawn Stars, all you guys over there, I appreciate everything that you support because I know it takes time. I know it takes time and energy to come visit my channel. And, uh, and I hope that, that you guys are really enjoying it. I hope it's just not empty content. And handy stars. I didn't know they were both transparent. That's interesting. So let's take a look at the, at the card. It says, thank you, Matt, for your support. Hope you have a great 2020. Can't wait to see you at GIE. Me neither. Me neither, Ranger. I can't wait to meet all of you guys face to face. You guys are like celebrities, you know? Uh, and uh, yeah, we're all just kind of like regular dudes, but but uh, we're really enjoying this community and I, and I can't wait to, to meet you guys. All right. The last one, the last one is from MWP Lawn Service in Raleigh, Mississippi. If I'm not mistaken, okay, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is y'all's first year 
So you guys are a startup. And how awesome is that? How special is that? Uh oh, there they are. I almost thought I lost the stickers. They're like a first, I think, I think you guys are starting up for your first year and I just want to encourage you guys, don't give up, don't give up, don't give up. Press forward, uh, uh, it'll get better uh, and you will learn every single season, every single day you're going to learn something new and you guys are just doing, I mean YouTube is an amazing resource and I just thank you and I'm looking forward to your content and, uh, and I appreciate your support on my channel and if there's any way that I can uh, be an encouragement to you, pray for you. Uh, support you. Uh, I, if it's within my means, I would love to do that. And I appreciate the sticker swap. Amazing looking little sticker there. It's awesome. I got two of them, by the way. And then I also got a card. This is a really good looking card. I've always been a fan of these curved edges. Excited. So there we go. Michael and Holly Goodson from MWP Lawn, uh, Lawn Service. And uh, yeah, welcome to the cabinet, guys. Let's get you up there. Is it just me that has trouble with stickers taking off the backing? There we go. <clears throat> Alrighty guys, I'm going to stick you guys right in here. So, what I'd like to do is I'd like to usually kind of go around, but uh, you guys are in great company because this is an excellent community. you got Ben from Acme up here. you got Midlow Hayden from Midlow Turf Management. Uh, actually, Rob, you're going to have to hook me up with a new one because you're not out of jobs anymore. You're Waymaker. Why it's Lawn Service, Jay's Crazy Cuts, Caddo, and, uh, and others. Red Rock up there in Canada. I appreciate the international support. So that does it for the community cabinet. If you would like to send me a sticker, just go ahead and send me a message. And uh, we'll connect, we'll, we'll swap addresses, and I will get you a sticker. You send me one, you go up on the community cabinet, and you'll be automatically entered for any giveaways that, that I do give. So anyways, guys, I appreciate your support, uh, and I appreciate you watching this video. Let me know if there's anything that you would like to see uh, this year, if you're a new startup, especially because I really like that focus. I love helping the new guy out because I know it can be difficult. But anyways, um, I guess that's pretty much going to do it. And I thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in a couple weeks, guys. Oh. Pray for me. You know I'm praying for you guys. Don't let me forget that stuff. Love you guys. Peace.